We've been on reality TV for like 12 years of our 17 year marriage. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, hats off to us for pulling through this long and actually raising a decent family. You said this season is a lot about relationships and we know last season you and Joe kind of hit a bit of a rough patch. How would you describe your marriage now and how are you guys doing? Uh, I think we're doing great. I think the pandemic was a little rough. I think it brought out a lot of our real feelings. There was too much time to talk about it when normally we're just so busy that we just kind of like, ah, whatever, we'll deal with that night when it comes or, you know, we'll deal with that argument and then we'll get over it because we have to go to work the next morning. But like the pandemic was like, we were just both sitting on the couch looking at each other and I'm like, I got a lot to say. He's like, so do I. It was just way too much time. So uh, it was rough. That was rough, but we're, we're so much better now. It was probably good for us to talk it through, I guess. You know, I guess I don't really, I didn't know how he was feeling, you know, and I don't think he was getting out what I was, where I was coming from. So I think we, we worked it out. Not easy. We've been on reality TV for like 12 years of our 17 year marriage. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, hats off to us for pulling through this long and actually raising a decent family. Yeah, I was actually gonna say, I mean, you both have been able to kind of survive this reality TV curse because you see so many marriages come and go. I mean, what do you think the secret is to kind of maintaining a strong marriage both on and off camera? I just think if you come in shaky, if you come in with a lot of a lot of stuff hidden in your closet, mm -hmm. it's not good to join a reality TV show. And Joe and I didn't, we didn't come in with anything in our closet. So I think that's really how we remain strong. Um, I think when people sign on that dotted line and they know there's like a laundry list of stuff behind them, it's fine. Just be prepared that it's gonna come out and you gotta be really strong through it all. You know, uh, Joe and I are also just, you know, we're pretty relatable. We're very down to earth. We don't, this show does not take over our lives. It does not. It is our job. It is, we enjoy it. We share our lives with everyone. Um, but we're also all about the real thing. We're all about family. We're all about what really matters. And we remind each other of that every day. So I think that's why we're so strong, yeah. you know? Definitely. What do you really think about uh, Joe's comedy career? I mean, I think it's like, He's, he's shockingly good mm -hmm. and he's doing a great job. But I just look at him like, you're so busy. You have so much going on. Like, why? Why do you want to do this? But, you know, I don't want to knock it because there was things I wanted to do in life and I went ahead and did them. So um, I just think that he's crazy. I mean, what's harder than making a whole group of people who are knowing they came there to laugh. Now you actually have to make them laugh. I'm like, you're nuts. I could never do it. So God bless him for, for even doing it, but he's actually pretty good at it. He does. He, he's, he's got his little, he's got his routine and uh, he's good. So good for him. He's having fun with it. It's, it's kind of like a fun, it's a fun little housewives night to be honest too. Cause it's yeah. like, they get to see Joe. They know I'm probably gonna be in the audience. He is funny. He makes, whenever we go to like dinners, he makes everybody we're with laugh the whole time. I mean, he talks about my, you know, my body parts a lot of the time, which I don't love, but like everyone knows he's good for a good relationship laugh, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's a fun, it's a fun night out. Definitely. Kudos to him. It takes a lot of courage to get up there, I would imagine. Yes. Um, I, I know a lot of it got a lot of people talking in the trailer when uh, Joe says that he watches porn while he drives. Is that true? <laughs> I can't get I hate that he says this. I'm like, do you realize we have young children that like watch the trailer and watches watch the show? Like, oh, I don't know. That's like illegal, isn't it? It's a double illegal. Get off your phone and definitely don't be watching that if you need to be on it. 